Hey, what's up all? It's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. Well, right now you find me in my little secret base. But, as we step outside, I'm still here on Route 121, because, well, last time we finally made it to Lily Cove, and as it was a big city, it took quite a bit longer uh, to explore the place than I thought it would. Plus, we had a go at the uh, Pokemon contest. I didn't win it, unfortunately, but I did come second, which, considering that was the first Pokemon contest I've done, like, in this game, uh, in the since, like, the last time I properly played this game, about 10, 15 years ago, I'd say that wasn't uh, a bad attempt at all. And it might be something I will look at uh, maybe checking out again in the future, but for now, Let's actually carry on, and you know what? We couldn't do it last time because we didn't have the Pokeblock case, but now, let's actually go and check out the Safari Zone. Also, I just realised, I think I've still got a Max Repel on. Probably best if I just quickly run around. I think I, I, I think I put on a Max Repel to run through the grass at the end of the last session. There we go. Yeah, because the last thing we want is to go to the Safari Zone and wait several steps only to find that I'm not going to encounter any Pokemon because I'm wearing a Repel. <laughs> Unless Repel's effect doesn't uh, is not affected by the Safari Zone encounters, but still, I didn't want to take that chance. Okay, so yeah, I've already spoke to you, I spoke to a, a couple of these people already, but now that I have a Pokeblock case, and admittedly I've only got one Pokeblock, so I'm probably not going to be using it, but at least I have a case now, so please let me in. Welcome to the Safari Zone. Oh, you can catch for just 500 Poké Dollars. Would you like to play a Safari game? Yes. Yeah, here we go. Now we're finally getting into the Safari Zone. So, as usual, 500 steps. Or, or until we run out of... Uh, Safari Balls. In fact... Okay, you can see how many you've got. I thought it also kept track of a timer. Uh, not a timer, like a step counter. And yeah, that looks like a little... Ooh, a giraffe rig! Who, as we all now know, has since gained an evolved form. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, God, God, excuse me. Right, so we can obviously just throw a Pokeball at it. Oh, sorry, Safari Ball at it. Uh, we could throw a Pokeblock, but unfortunately I think I've only got one. Or we can just simply go near. I think go near is just the equivalent of, like, throwing mud or something at a Pokemon. So if I go near... Giraffe Rig fled. If I was to activate that, yeah, so I can place a Pokeblock on the Pokeblock feeder. Now, I did a little bit of research. I think whatever Pokeblock you put in it affects what kind of nature a Pokemon has, or something like that. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, that's just an oddish, don't need to catch you. Did you know, if you put a Pokeblock in that square box, Pokemon gather around? I bet they do. But you know what? Let's save spe Let's just save uh, walking time and actually just walk around on the spot. There we go. Got ourselves a Gloom. I passed on catching you, I think, previously. Let's try it this time. Okay, that's good. Oh, I didn't mean to do that again. Okay, that's good. So let's just give it a go now. Oh, really, game? You absolute trolling game. But yeah, let's not waste any steps. Let's just hang around in this little area. There we go. Nice. And of course, that's just an Oddish. I have a feeling that Oddish are kind of like the common purple to find, at least in this particular area. In fact, I think there are multiple areas, aren't there? So, I don't want to hang around here for too long. Oh yeah, clearly Oddish are the common ones to find. For a, for a place that says that they have, like, rare Pokemon to encounter, it's kind of disappointing that I'm seeing just a bunch of Oddish. Like, at least give you some more Pokemon like that Giraffe Rig. Oh, and right on cue, we got ourselves a Giraffe Rig. Level 25. Now, last time I clicked go near, it fled. Let's see if it does it again. 
Yeah, it does it again. Okay, so it looks like Giraffe Rig might be a little bit scared of, or like a bit nervous of encounters with humans. Ah, another Giraffe Rig, level 27 this time. You know what, let's just use a Safari Ball anyway and see what happens. I actually had you catching it. Okay then, whatever game. All right, Giraffe Rig was caught, nice. Giraffe Rig, the long neck Pokemon. A Giraffe Rig is a herbivore. It eats grass and tree shoots. While it is eating, its tail makes chewing and swallowing motions as if it were also eating. Nice, we got ourselves a Giraffe Rig. Okay, let's just move to the edge here just so we can eventually move on to another area. I just want to see if there's any other Pokemon that we may not encounter, but no, once again, we just got a lousy Oddish. Go away, Oddish, I don't care for you. Okay, another Giraffe Rig. Wow, okay. All of a sudden, Giraffe Rig are starting to become quite common, which is fine by me. Alright, we'll do one more encounter, and then we'll see what other areas we've got. There we go. Wow, that took a bit of a time. No, just a knowledge. Okay. I think we're tapped out on this area. Let's uh, move on to the next area. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. I think because we're technically in the same area, I think we're just going to encounter the same Pokemon. Anyway, also, what's the deal here? This area is still under construction. It's off limits. Ah! Wait a minute, I'm remembering something. I think if you enter the Hall of Fame, that's like a new area. Like that's been added, to, that gets added to the Safari Zone. And I believe that might be where you can find a whole bunch of Johto Pokemon. Because of course with Generation 3, there was the whole like, um, how can I put it? I wouldn't say controversy, but you know, there was a whole like technical issues of the fact that you couldn't transfer Pokemon from Generation 2 to Generation 3. So, in a way, in, in Pokemon Emerald, they fixed that by adding some Johto Pokemon in uh... No way! No way! A shiny Oddish? I said I was going to ignore Oddish, but screw that, I'm catching you. Although, I bet this fails. No way! No way! <laughs> oh my god! That's two Pokemon Let's Plays in a row that I've encountered a shiny Pokemon without even trying. I found a shiny, what was it, Darren Maka in my Pokemon Black Let's Play, and now I found a shiny Oddish! What are the chances? Oh my god, that's so cool! Okay, I totally take back what I said. I'm totally fine with that, Oddish. Right, okay. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> I can't believe that. Also, I just noticed. Ah. I want to keep going deeper, but I forgot to bring a bike. Something tells me that a rare Pokemon live in the outlying areas. Well, luckily for me, I do have... Uh, yeah, I do have the Acro bike, so I can at least go across here. Oh, that also means there's going to be areas that might need the Mac bike, so probably worth coming here, like, on multiple occasions anyway. Okay, so we're here now. I wonder if any... Also, I am using the item finder because I don't know if there's actually any hidden items to be found around here. Anyway, that's just a normal Oddish, but you're of no interest to me now that I've encountered a shiny Oddish. Oh my god. Hey, maybe I'll bring it with me. After all, I ended up bringing my shiny Darn Mac. Oh, Fampy! Nice! Uh, I did end up bringing uh, my shiny uh, Darren Maka with me in my Pokemon Black Let's Play. So maybe I'll do the same, even though I do already have um, Breloom. Might be tempted to bring... Um my shiny Oddish with me, and then once it evolves into a Gloom, I can decide whether 
to evolve it into a Vile Plume, or if I get a chance to find a Sunstone, evolve it into a Bellossom. Anyway, Fampy, the long-nosed Pokemon. Fampy's big ears serve as broad fans. When it becomes hot, it flaps the ears busily to cool down. Even the young are very strong. Alright, so that's actually two Pokemon from the uh, Johto region that we've encountered. That's pretty cool. Okay, and a quick little jump cut there because I really needed to clear my throat out because <laughs> for some reason uh, I was having a bit of a hard time starting to talk there at some t at some moments uh, just before, so uh, hopefully a nice good clearing of the throat will do the job. Anyway, that's another Fampy, but I don't need to catch you, but at least we're seeing some different Pokemon here, so that's good. Oh, and it's an Oddish, but as I said, you're just a normal Oddish. Don't care for you anymore. Come on, give me some new Pokemon. No, that's just another Oddish. Uh, it's kind of disappointing that this place does seem to be a little bit overrun by Oddish. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Heracross. Okay. I completely forgot you could find Heracross at the Safari Zone. But yeah, perhaps unsurprising. Broke out straight away, but still, you've not fled. Oh, wow, yeah. You've not fled yet? Alright. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna carry on trying to catch this uh, Heracross. Oh nice, I got myself a Heracross. Lovely. Heracross, the single horn Pokemon. They gather in forests seeking the sweet sap of trees. It is completely clad in a steel hard shell. It is proud of its horn, which it uses to fling foes. Oh wow, it's been placed in box two. Hey! We're finally starting to make use of a second box. That was a suspiciously placed rock there. Ooh, another spot to... Uh... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Another spot to use the Acrobike. Alright. I mean, not that it matters. I could just dive down anyway, but still. Uh, maybe I should get off the bike because I can't really act like effectively stand on the spot. Anyway, that's just another Oddish. Don't really care for you anymore, unless you end, unless another shiny Oddish ends up appearing. Or any shiny Pokemon, for that matter. At least it was a shiny Oddish, so I knew it was going to be a fairly easy catch. But still, I can't believe I've encountered a, 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 a shiny Pokemon just randomly like that. As I say, I'm not even attempting to try and find shiny Pokemon. Although now that I encountered that shiny uh, Oddish, I'm now debating what I should use as the this as the thumbnail for this video. Because I was just gonna just show a, probably like use a thumbnail of just the general like like a typical area of the Safari Zone, or maybe an encounter one of these like well for the Hoenn region at least rare Pokemon. But now that I've seen uh, now that I've encountered and caught that. Uh, Encounter that shiny Oddish, I think I might just use that as the uh, thumbnail. Ooh, calcium. Also, that does mean that there are items to be found around here. Okay, interesting. Uh, talk to me. Oh, that's fair enough. Okay, yeah, that's a dead end. Alright, so how do we get out of here? Oh, another Heracross. But don't need another one. I've already got one, so don't need another one. Right, so that's a dead end, annoyingly. Or is it? Oh, maybe it isn't. Also, I'm definitely wasting a lot of steps here. But let's just go back to the previous area. Actually, I kind of want to go in this direction anyway, because I have a feeling that 
Another area is to the west of here. Oh, here we go. Here's a Pokemon we've not yet encountered. A Natsu. Alright, I'm just going to use a Safari Ball straight away. See if that's enough. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Still watching me carefully. Well, I've committed to using the Safari Balls already, so I'm just going to just carry on using them. Oh, no, wow. Breaking out straight away. Alright, well, we'll try going near once. Okay, you've not fled yet. That's good. Nice. Alright, another new Pokemon added to the collection. Natsu, the tiny bird Pokemon. It runs up short trees that grow on the savannah to peck at new shoots, and Natsu's eyes look as if they are always observing something. What are they observing? Who knows? But there we go, another new Pokemon added to... Uh... Oh, a rest house. I don't know if there's anything useful in here, but we'll have a little peek in here anyway. Uh, yeah, Pokemon attracted to it. I think Pokemon with the same sort of nature are drawn by a certain Pokemon. Ah, yes, so I think I was right in what I was assuming before. Yeah, I don't have any Pokeblocks, but I caught a good number of Pokemon. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought, yep. If you use Pokeblocks, Wild Pokemon won't be so quick to run away. It's not much use to give Pokeblocks to Pokemon that don't flee easily, so yeah, so if I... So, probably to make that Giraffery capture a bit more easier, I probably could have uh, given it a Pokeblock and then try to get closer. Also, uh, let's see what kind of uh, water Pokemon we can find. I was going to say, I do have the good rod, don't I? Yes, I do. So, let's just use that. Hello, else has done some fishing. Let me guess, a Magikarp? No! A Goldeen! Alright. Well, I suppose it was either going to be a Magikarp or a Goldeen. It would be very nice of the game if it actually allowed us to catch Phoebus here, but unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Anyway, let's go a little nearer. Oh, but it fled. So how would I go near it? Because I literally just caught it on the fishing line. That's a thought. I wonder if you can count a Pokemon on top of the water. I'm going to assume so. Ah, okay. Psyduck. Alright. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Easy. Also, I just realised something. So far, all the Pokemon that we've encountered... Uh, uh, are Pokemon that are have not been originally been introduced in the Hoenn region. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, Psyduck, the duck Pokemon. When its headache intensifies, it starts using strange powers. However, it has no recollection of its powers, so it always looks befuddled and bewildered. <laughs> ah, the poor thing. Anyway, that's... Oh, wow, that was quick. But you know what? That was still a good amount of Pokemon. I'm totally cool with that. But I have to check out my PC to see that this uh, Oddish. Hang on a minute. I need to see this Oddish. Oh, I got a shiny Pokemon. With a rash nature. Raises speed and sunshine. So you got the chlorophyll ability. Okay. Oh, well. You know all of the powders. As well as just acid. Oh wow, you know about a whole bunch of smart moves. That's going to be good for uh, Pokemon contests. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I mean, I was going to keep Breloom. But I can't pass up the opportunity to bring a shiny Pokemon with me. Uh, anyway, what else did we catch? We also caught the Fampy. A Heracross, which is pretty cool. Natu and Psyduck. But of course, yeah, I think we've only just scratched the surface a little bit. So you know what? We're going to go in for one more visit. Although I wonder if it, I wonder if it's a, I wonder if it would be a good idea for me to just temporarily switch bikes because there was, there was a couple of areas that we needed to use the the acro bike. So I'm guessing there's also going to be spots 
in the Safari Zone that will require us to use a Mac bike. So you know what? Before we go into back in, I might as well make a quick flying visit to Moorville. Just uh, switch bikes for now. And just see if I'm right, because it wouldn't make any sense if, it, if like, the Safari Zone only requires the use of one particular bike over another. So I'm going to assume there are also some areas that might require the Mach bike. So let's just do that. Let's just very quickly fly. And see what's what. In fact, I'm just going to quickly jump cut to the uh, entrance to the Safari Zone. Okay, we're back at the Safari Zone. Now with the Mac bike. So let's go this way this time. Let's see what we can find. But seeing as we're technically in a different area, let's see if we've got a new Pokemon. And of course, we immediately start with an Oddish. So never mind. Come on, there's got to be something new here. Whoops. No, that's another Natu. Actually, I say it's another area. I wonder if this is just technically just the lower bit of the area that I was in right at the end of our first visit. Although, admittedly, I didn't check out the grass too much. Actually, no, Natu was it. Wait, where did I encounter the Natu? Was it in the first area? Oh, I don't know now. I'm getting confused now, but let's just look around and anyway. Ah, Wobbuffet. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll give it a go. I'll try catching you. But I was going to say, if I remember rightly, you're going to be a little bit tough to catch. But we'll see. Ah, you fled. Okay, so we can find Wild Wobbuffet here. Although I do have a Y Nought, so it's not the end of the world if I can't catch a Wobbuffet. That's if I'm interested in filling up the Pokedex a little bit. Anyway, that's just a giraffe rig. I've already got you, so I don't need to catch you. Any other Pokemon to be found around here? Nope, just another giraffe rig. Come on, any new Pokemon? Any new Pokemon? Although I kind of want to just do some general exploring in case there's like any other items to be found around here. I'm probably going to miss a few anyway. But actually thinking about it, we're probably going to have to come back to the Safari Zone anyway. As I said, if I ever rightly, once we enter the Hall of Fame... Uh, another area of the Safari Zone gets opened up. So even if I miss something now, I will probably end up returning to the Safari Zone anyway. So it's not a massive, uh, it's not a big deal if I miss something on these visits. Ah, I was right. Ah ha ha ha. I mean, it makes sense when you think about it because there's no way that they'd have to like have areas that make use of one bike over the other. I thought there might be something in those rocks. Alright, let's see if there's anything new to be found around here. Ah, a Rhyhorn. Okay. I mean, we typically encounter you in the Kanto Safari Zone as well. Well, straight out. Straight out of the Safari Ball. straight out again. Alright, let's just go a little near. Not run away, that's good. Let's throw a safari ball. I want to catch at least one Pokemon before I leave. Oh, wow. This Rhyhorn is... not playing ball right now. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Hey, at least I've got one Pokemon on this second visit, so my 500 Poke Dollars haven't been completely wasted. Rhyhorn, the Spikes Pokemon. Once it starts running, it doesn't stop. Its tiny brain, charming, makes it so stupid. What? That it can't remember why it started running in the first place. Oh, man. 
What's with these Pokedex entries? Poor Rhyhorn. Anyway, at least we've got a Rhyhorn now. Uh, what's down here? Oh, that's where the rest house is. Okay, so... So yeah, we can only get up to this bit using the Mac bike. Okay. Oh, here we go. Another new Pokemon, Pinsir. Alright, yeah, let's... Uh, well, I'll try using a ball, but I have a sneaky suspicion it's probably going to break out immediately. Yes, it is. Wow, it's almost as if I can predict things happening. It'd be great if I can actually accurately predict when I'm actually going to encounter a shiny Pokemon rather than just rely on just pure dumb luck. Okay, well, Pinsir's not run away yet, so I'm just going to keep lobbing these uh, Safari Balls. Oh, never mind, we got ourselves a Pinsir. Nice, alright. Pinsir, the Stag Beetle Pokemon. Their pincers are strong enough to shatter thick logs. Because they dislike cold, pincer burrow and sleep under the ground on chilly nights. Uh, give a nickname, of course not. Nice, alright, cool. There must be some other Pokemon around here. <laughs> and of course, it's an Oddish. Who'd have thought it? Although, if it happened to be another shiny Oddish, I probably would have ca I probably would catch it anyway. Come on, give me some rare Pokemon. Okay, another Rhyhorn, but don't need to catch one of you. I've already caught you. Okay, so so far in this little area, we've encountered Rhyhorn, Pinsir, and Oddish. Anything else? Surely it can't just be those three Pokemon. Although, I had to wonder whether... I had to wonder whether leaving a Pokeblock... I wonder, I wonder whether that actually influences uh, what Pokemon appear. I hope not, because that sounds kind of stupid. I think the Poker Blocks just affect more of like what kind of nature a Pokemon will have. Anyway, all I'm encountering is Rhyhorn, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to start doing some editing now and just do some jump cuts. And if I encounter any new Pokemon, I'll just jump straight back. Oh, never mind, we finally caught, en encountered a new Pokemon, Doduo. Well, I think that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm just going to uh, probably start doing some more editing. Although, having said that, I am in a new area, so maybe not. We'll see. Anyway, Doduo was caught. Nice, easy catch. Doduo, the twin bird Pokemon. Even while eating or sleeping, one of the heads remains always vigilant for any sign of danger. When threatened, it flees at over 60 miles an hour. Damn, pretty quick. Alright, well, at least we found another new Pokemon. So that's uh, at least four in this area. Oh, now they're starting to appear quite often. <laughs> of course they are. But you know what? I'm kind of in the mood just to check out what else is around here. I made it out here, but I'm exhausted. I don't have the energy to catch Pokemon. <laughs> Also, I'm trying to figure out, are, are some of these areas technically blocked off or like with, with, by use of these different bikes or could you just simply get to an area anyway but it just takes a considerable amount of steps? I don't know, because I'm still encountering Rhyhorn here. Just by the looks of it down below, actually is it? Oh no, that looks like a dead end, never mind. Maybe, maybe it is blocked off. Anyway, we're just encountering Doduo right now. And I think we're kind of at a dead end. Uh, no items. Ooh. This is quite a big pond. I wonder if this is a lake. Ah, there is an item. Solar beam. Ooh, okay. Actually, I did catch a I did catch a shiny oddish that I might want to use. And you know what? That'd be a good Pokemon to teach that to, if uh, unless it can learn it automatically. Um, no, let's not catch Psyduck, seeing as I've already caught you. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a little wander around just to see if I can find any new Pokemon, but if not, I will uh, jump straight back to the end of the game. 
or rather the end of the, our Safari Zone game I should say, not the end of this actual game. <laughs> Ooh, it's a Wobbuffet again. Let's see if we can uh, catch this one. Nope, straight away. We've not fled yet. Let's just try try going near. Still watching. Let's try it again. Okay, it's still watching me. Let's try using a Safari Ball now. Oh, wow. Yeah, these Wobbuffets are hard to catch. Oh, hey, another chance to catch a Wobbuffet. I must be running low on steps now, so let's see. Come on, let me get at least one more catch before we leave, but... Now, these Wobbuffets, I think, are going to be... Very difficult to try and catch unless we get super lucky with our luck. Oh, there we go. And just like that, I got super lucky with my luck. Wobbuffet was caught. Nice. Wobbuffet, the patient Pokemon. Usually docile, a Wobbuffet strikes back ferociously if its black tail is attacked. It makes its lair in caves where it waits for nightfall. Interesting. Well, we finally got ourselves a Wobbuffet. I must be getting pretty close to the end now of the game, surely. In terms of the 500 steps. Yep, there it is. I thought so. Ooh, I got pretty lucky there. But yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. A couple of more Pokemon caught. And yeah, I didn't really enc encounter any new Pokemon there. After the uh, last encounters, like with the Dodo in that area. The only other Pokemon I did encounter uh, was a Gloom, but that was it, so nothing really there. I mean, I could have tried to catch the Gloom, but if I'm going to bring my shiny Oddish with me, I'm, it's probably going to evolve soon anyway, so I might as well just use that. So yeah, some interesting Pokemon, including a Heracross, as well as a Fampy, who I could potentially evolve into a Dolphin if I wanted to. But of course... Start a show, even though you're a common Pokemon in the Safari Zone. You'd never say no to catching a shiny Pokemon. So, yeah, not bad going. So, yeah, that was pretty fun. Nice little uh, side thing there at the Safari Zone. But I think we're going to leave that place for now, but there's a good chance we will be coming back to it. As I said, I'm pretty sure a new area of the Safari Zone will open up once we enter the Hall of Fame. So... We'll definitely be coming back there at some point, especially if I've ended up missing some items, which I probably have, but at least I've found a TM for Solar Beam, so at least that's pretty cool. So, um, you know what? Even though this is only going to be like effectively just one episode from this session, I'm actually going to call it quits now because I want to make sure I save the game and not end up losing the fact that I did catch a shiny Oddish, so I'm actually going to... Uh, end this particular recording and we'll uh, pick up next time back in Lily Cove and we'll finally see just what is going on in that cave in the cove with Team Aqua. Something's going on there and we are going to um, we're going to get all nosy and we'll uh, have a little peek inside of that cave and see what's what. So for now thanks very much for watching everyone and until next time I shall catch you all later.